<laughs> well, I, I think I have, there is a part of me that, that feels uh, a great deal of sympathy. I have friends in both camps. Um, I have friends and a lot of respect for people who have challenged themselves to cook and source entirely locally, uh, sustainably, uh, with maximum attention paid to the way that the uh, animal is raised. Uh, I happen to personally believe very much that, you know, uh, a happy, a, a, an animal that is raised in happy conditions makes it more delicious. Uh, this is a provable, you know, provable. It is in our, our interest as chefs, but also as citizens of the world and thinking, feeling creatures that treat animals well. Uh, but I'm also a guy who, if I hear about, you know, I happen to like a lot of seafood that I know is flown you know, uh, at great expense from Japan. Um, I'm, f I'm a fan of people who manipulate their food to make it delicious and surprising and, 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 and challenging to the imagination. So the bad guys in this book uh, represent uh, the, the, the best and worst of, of the community I've lived, the chef's community I've lived in and, and seen, and also in many ways the best and worst of, of my character. Yeah. You know, I've done, you know, maybe it's a bad thing to eat a tiny, yet delicious bird, bones, guts, and all. And, um, but I have to tell you, it was supremely delicious. <laughs> and not something I do on a regular, you know, I've done it one, twice in my life, and I'm unlikely to ever do it again. Do I regret this thing? You know, I, I, will, I will answer for it, perhaps, but I'm pretty happy about having done it. Cool, thanks.